once you get to the golden stairs, you get a shower. You. <laughs> da -da. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. I think I do two minutes of anything. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Suck my balls, I'm Harry. And ooh, I'm Richard. Stay away from them dirty old balls. Yeah, this is Dead Dex playing live solo games. Yeah, boy. Because, you know, it takes two of us to play a solo game. That's right. That's how bright we are around here. Yeah, buddy. I told some of the folks in the backroom Discord I was going to do a playthrough. So even though I'm lazy today and buzzed and whatever, I'm still going to do it, by God. Because right. I said I'm going to. Because we're all about good enough here. <laughs> and I don't know if this is going to be posted in any way that makes sense. We'll try to remember to post it soon. Yeah. It's June 2024, so we can start telling people how long ago these fucking videos were shot. Uh, <laughs> there was a few people when I did the box opening that said they wanted to see gameplay, so... Here you go. This is the one of the awesome play mats from their site. So, uh, Backrooms. Single player TCG. Uh, so, all you need to know about that. I'll show you the setup a little bit before I do the first round. Uh, so, I've got my... This is my pull pile. This is my deck. It's right here. Uh, shit, I already forgot the deck count. 52 cards, I think. It's a playing card deck. I believe that's right, unless I just lied my ass off. Um, I've got a, what they call a position token here. It's got a regular side as I'm moving around. And this is gym side when I acquire a gym, uh, which I'll talk through what that is later. So two-sided, I mean, you could, this is a token from the website, but you could uh, get a coin. Yeah. Anything uh, you want. Anything you want. And this is my sanity counter. Uh, I'll explain what sanity is. Well, it's how sane you are. There you go. Fuck Explain. It. I explained it. Now y'all fuck off. So in, in terms of the area and what's going on here, um, this is, I said my pull pile was my deck. Discard pile. Duh. Next level decks are something that's coming out in the next set, but that's going to represent moving into a different level uh, of the back room, which is going to be pretty fucking cool. Um, they're not supported yet, but they were looking ahead. And that's actually going to come out, it's supposed to be in October. Uh, and this is June, so that's my inventory. These are things I'm going to pick up as I'm exploring. This is my field of play, so this is where the magic happens. There's going to be eight cards dealt out around here. Um, it's a little bit abstract. It's probably the only thing that's going to take some getting used to on the game, so it's not as though you're moving linear. You're not moving around like that. This kind of abstractly represents the things that you're encountering in the back rooms. I'll show you how that works, but what? You brought your camera. All my rattling the shit shaking out Shaking like a motherfucker. Yeah, hey, I'm probably going to do that worse. It's earthquake When I get to doing all that worse. So the first round of the game is called the no-clip round. Um, apparently that's terminology from video games. I didn't know to play in this. What's it called again? The no-clip. Hmm. Apparently it's a reference to no-clipping like through into another dimension. Right. To the back rooms, which the back rooms is its own thing. If you're not familiar with, look it up. It's a, what do you call it? It's not a meme exactly. Yeah, folklore or yeah. uh, urban myth or ah fuck. I don't and know. it came from you know the hell of the internet. What's that fucking thing called? Where it first started at? Reddit? No. Four four chan. Four, four chan. Yeah. Okay, it started there. So that that tells you a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So in, in the no clip round, which is just your setup round, you're gonna shuffle the deck, which I've already done that. You're gonna draw twelve cards. Uh, or you can just peel them off the top. So of those 12, eight of them are going to go uh, clockwise like this. So I'm going to lay them out so they're visible to me. I'll try not to rattle the table any more than I have to. Uh, there's my eight, and then I get four. This is my deck in hand. And I want to set my deck here. So... Object of the game is to get the hell out of the back rooms, which I'll tell you how to do that. But there's uh, three different ways you can lose. You can run out of cards in your deck in hand. You can run out of sanity. Uh, or you can run out of ways to move the rooms around. And I'll explain how room movement goes for you to navigate. Those three things cause you to lose. You can't deck out. Uh, whenever you deck out, you actually reset. And there's rules around how that works. But um, those are the three ways you can lose. Run out of sanity not be able to move a room, run out of cards and deck in hand. You don't look at these. It's not like most games. They're not face up. You never see them at all. You're only holding them. <clears throat> but I'll show you how they're used. I'll set them somewhere. 
I'll set them up here because we don't use that for for the game at this point. So, uh, so whenever you set up like I just did in the no clip round, you move your position token to the first available room from six o'clock. If there isn't one, this is a room card, so I'm good. I'll sit right there. Uh, and that's it. That's the end of my no clip round. So then you move on to your action rounds. So you've got four different things you can do, basically an action round in any order, and they are all optional. Um, I can move an item from my field of play into my inventory. Unfortunately, I don't have one. Uh, <clears throat> items are the only way you can defeat entities like this little bugger here. So you don't have any strength inherently. You don't have any damage you can do. You've got to have an item to interact with, with an entity in the room. So... You can retrieve an item if there is, is one, but there isn't. You can engage an entity. I'm not going to fight this fella because I don't have anything to hit him with. And I don't have to, so I'm going to leave him right there. Uh, you can engage a friendly or unfriendly entity. Uh, but yeah, I only got an unfriendly. And I am uh, don't want to fight. Or you can use an item. Some items have abilities that are uh, that are outside of engaging with an entity. I don't have one, so... Uh, so that's it for my action round. Those are the four things I could do. So then you're going on to your movement round. So to move, you have to move uh, a room uh, on the field of play uh, across from itself. There are some rules around what you can move it onto. You cannot cover up a bad guy. You can't cover up a permanent. There's a couple things that you can't move a room onto. But you can move rooms onto empty spaces. You can move them onto themselves. Um, and they all have different... Uh, effects Let's see if I get this up here so they have a few different things they do this down here represents pulling cards from your pool pile and putting them on the bottom of your deck in hand which is a good thing you need more in here because when you run out you die uh, this right here is an impact to your sanity it's either going to increase it or decrease it depending on the room this one the hallway is a uh, basically a cheat code in this game no, it's a really good one, and it really benefits you. You get three cards from your pull pile, you get three sanity, and you get two movement points. So, so that's the things you do in order, typically, when you interact with a card. You're going to look at those things. Make sure you do the pull pile, then you look and you interact with your sanity, but that's a max 20, and then you do your movement, which I'll show you how to do. So I'm going to, on my movement round, I'm going to move my hallway here. So that is where my position token now goes. So then I'm gonna do the things I just mentioned to you. I'm gonna take three from the top of my pool pile. They goes on the bottom of my deck in hand. Uh, if I wasn't at max sanity already, I'd add three like it tells me to, but I'm already maxed. And then I've got two movement. Uh, so movement is taking cards from my deck in hand and laying them out on either side of where I currently am. I've got two that I can do that with. I can't cover up uh, an unfriendly entity, but I can cover rooms. Uh, similar rules to moving a room around. Just making any sense at all? Yep. I'm moving too fast? Nope. Uh, so I've got two. They can fucking rewind. <laughs> so I can go this way. I'm going to lay out two cards from the top of my deck in hand, and I'm going to do it on this side of where I currently am, position-wise. So it leaves me five cards deck in hand. Uh, and that is the end of my movement round. I spent my navigation point, so moving around over, now it's back to the action round. Uh, no clip was just set up, so. Uh, action again, I got the same options. I can take an item from the field of play and I can put it in my inventory. I have one now, and Boom Shroom is a great one. It does three damage, as it says up here in the corner. So I'm gonna take that, put it in my inventory. Uh, this guy here is a little puss puss. Uh, when I engage him, he takes one card from my deck in hand, and I put it under the pull pile. So that that sucks to lose one card. Um, and he takes three from my sanity. It's negative three sanity, but he only has one health. So I'm going to go ahead and engage him just to show how this works. So as soon as I do that, I'm going to look at those, uh, all the values on the card, and, and do everything that I'm supposed to do like I've been talking about. So one from my deck in hand, bottom of the pull pile. Negative three on my sanity. I'm going the wrong way, trying to make it take longer. So I now have 17 sanity left. And then he only has one health. He killed a stupid ass. So I'm going to use my item, and they both go to the discard pile. He did. 
All right, so if you were playing this for real reels, would you have fought that enemy at this point? Um, why or why not? I probably still would have. What's the benefit of fighting the enemy? Uh, you can't move on to an enemy, so you don't want your board to be crowded. Okay. Um, now, uh, I'm glad you asked that because you that's something I did not mention. This little pussy guy doesn't have one. A lot of enemies have a little jam icon in the corner. So when they have that and you defeat them, then you get to flip to see if you find the gem. And that's one of the things you have to do to be able to escape the back rooms. You can't escape when your position token is just on that. So if you were to defeat an enemy with a gem up there, you flip. Uh, I didn't get a gem, so I wouldn't have got it. You gotta, uh, but if, I, if you get the gem, now you're looking for actually this room, which I was lucky enough to deal out. Uh, then you're looking for the golden stairs. And once you get to the golden stairs, you get a shower. You, <laughs> you've escaped the back rooms and you've won. Uh, that's the purpose of the game is to get the hell out before you lose your sanity, before you lose your deck in hand, which is basically, you can view that as your life. But again, a little abstractly, I mean, it's made up of cards and you're using them for other things. Uh, but yeah, that's the goal, uh, is to get to the golden stairs and get the fuck out. Um, uh, so I don't know if we want to do, how many minutes has this been anyway? 11. Uh, I can do a couple more things here. I don't know, Harry. Yeah, go for it. Sure. Why fuck, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you all can tune out if you don't like it. So I had just engaged him. Oh, I was going to say, data suggests that you already have. <laughs> <laughs> At 11 minutes? Fuck yeah, gone. Uh, so I'm still on my action round. There's a couple things I can do. I grab that item. I engage an entity. Uh, there's no no other entity to engage, no item to use. So now I'm on to the movement round. So uh, if I had a gem like this is showing me, as long as across from my golden stairs was open, I could move it and then I would win. Uh, that's how you get out. But I don't have a gem. I flipped that incorrectly. So my movement round, I can move anything I want. All of these uh, rooms have different abilities and impacts. This one. Uh, gives me one card from my pull pile to my de uh, deck in hand. It gives me one sanity and one movement. I forgot to move over there. So I now got back up to 18 sanity and I can do one movement. I'll just fill in that. And there's my deck in hand. So you can see back to four cards. That is a friendly entity. The old death moth. Doesn't sound very friendly. No, it actually doesn't. Um, so he has a special ability that lets me pull an item when I engage him. Uh, the first item off the top of my pull pile, I get to put it into my inventory, and then I get to shuffle him back in. So he's pretty powerful. I'm not engaging him, I was just showing you. Um, so that's how this goes. I laid him out, I'm back on the action round. I'm doing the same thing again. I don't have an item, I don't have an entity, so I go ahead and move, and you're gonna keep moving around. One of the things about this starter deck that I bought was really before they had Balance. This is the first one they put out. They've done another one that I think everyone agrees is much more uh, It's challenging. It's engaging and this one is pretty easy. It's a little harder to die. It's a lot of easy rooms You're gonna be able to keep your sanity and deck in hand up pretty easy, but one of the things you can do with the game of course is as you get more cards, which we have plenty of you can customize how challenging you want it to be you can make a lot bigger bad guys. You can make rooms that hurt you instead of helping you. Um, you can kind of theme the deck. You can do tons of different stuff to make a different experience for yourself. Um, I think I covered most everything. You wouldn't know if I fucked it up or not, would you? I would not. I don't know <laughs> shit. I'm I, learning just like you motherfuckers. I, I may not have explained all of this great. I might have just skimmed through it. Um, and I'm sure any of the backrooms folks watch this. If I fucked anything up horribly, please comment, let me know. But uh, this thing is really fun, especially when you get into customizing a deck and make it, making it more challenging. And they, in the Discord every week, they do these uh, challenges that are specific things you need to try to do during the game, which makes it more interesting. Have a certain number of sanity. Like you can only escape when you have less than five or have certain things in your inventory. Uh, all kinds of different stuff they don't challenge us. makes it very cool. So it's a really cool concept. I like the idea of all the different ways you can 
help or fuck yourself, make this game as easy as you want or as hard as you want. Yeah, the one card we pulled uh, out of the box, um, if I had it handy enough to show, is the, the chase card that everybody wants. How uh, rare is that, do you know? Uh, I don't... I think they only... 50. There's 50 of them in existence. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn, you, uh, got, you got fucking damn. Uh, yeah, that took me a while to come up with that number. There he is. There he is. Uh, what he says is basically when he comes into play, you die. So you can do this if you really want to be. And I saw somebody do this on one of the challenge weeks just to fuck with themselves. They put this in their deck. Uh, so when he comes into the field to play out of your deck, you, you game over. There's only 50 copies of that. How many boxes they make? Do you know? Uh, it's either 500 or 200. That's um, pretty cool. One of those numbers, and I've forgotten which. There is somebody um, who's very active in the community, does whatnot and all that. He's opened 12 boxes and didn't pull one, so Damn. I'm a lucky bastard. You are a lucky bastard. It must be 500 boxes and not 200. Yeah, that'd be, that sounds... I don't know, 200? I thought I heard the number. That ain't very many. 200 ain't very many. It'd be one in every four boxes. Yeah. If it was 200 and there's 50 of them, so that's a, that guy would have really shitty luck. If yeah. That, uh, so, anyway... Uh, yeah, they've. I got some promo cards that just come in the other day. They're fucking sweet looking. I was excited to get my hands on. They have all these monthly promos. Uh, I think three bucks a piece from the site. So I grabbed all of them that were currently up because they vault them uh, every month. They'll roll one off. So kind of encourage you to keep up with uh, what they're putting out. Yeah, they got a pretty good business model and uh, play model going on. I don't like it. Yeah. Well done, fellas. Well done. Yeah, I think if I... you watch this. <laughs> I think I mentioned the only thing that takes a little bit is just the fact that it is abstract. I'm kind of dumb and a literalist, so it took me a minute. But, you know, like, what does this mean? I'm moving this here, and that makes me move? I, you know, but that's I, I get over it pretty quick. I memorize the rules, and now I can fly through a game pretty fast. So, uh, so yeah, I think it's awesome shit. Anyway, how we do, Harry? You know what? We did pretty fucking good. Ah, oh, fucking punching myself in the balls. 